hey guys welcome back to another video i wanted to try something new with my channel i wanted to not use the practice hand for this video and do a pop off set on my hand i did not use acrylic in this video i actually used poly gel acrylic and yeah i hope you guys like the video like comment and subscribe and enjoy the video So since I was doing a pop-out set, I made sure that I used hand sanitizer before starting my um, whole full set just because to keep my hands clean and make sure that I won't have any problems in the future with my nails. So before I started with the set, I went in with some cuticle oil and put it on every single nail that I will be doing. So by the end of these sets, I will be able to pop off these nails. But before we get deep into this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and share if you like. So for the size of the nail tips, I use 6, 5, 4, and 9. But everyone's fingernails are different sizes, so make sure you are sizing your nail tips the correct way. After putting the nail tips on, I went ahead and cut my nails to my desired length. Now I am going in with my 100-180 nail file to blend the nails. to shape the nails. Now this big, uh, middle fingernail was looking a little off, but um, I don't know if you guys can see, it did look a little crooked to me facing this way, but when I face it straight and looking forward at it, it looks straight. But when I have it bent like that, it looked crooked. I don't know if it was me or my nail.
after filing the nails and shaping the nails i went in again with some cuticle oil just because that i know that i filed off all the cuticle oil and my nail was obviously dry Before your application, you can use slip solution or you can use rubbing alcohol, but I went in with some slip solution by Model 1. And the color acrylic that I used was nude. And also that is the size brush that I use. It doesn't have a size. It's just a poly gel acrylic brush that's recommended. And on the other side of it was a dotting pencil. I have been using poly gel acrylic for longer than regular acrylic. I actually learned how to do acrylic with poly gel acrylic and that's when I moved on to regular acrylic. It quite most definitely takes some time and most a lot of practice because poly gel acrylic and regular acrylic are two different types of consistency. Otherwise, application for powder gel acrylic is an easy application for me. Definitely got easier over time. After doing the first part of my application, I cured it in the light for 60 seconds.
Now I'm going in with my 100 180 nail file and shaving all the nails. So off camera, I've decided to shape the nails a different way. I wasn't kind of liking it just because 
I don't know, some were uneven a little bit, but over time I did like it. After reshaping the nails, I went in with a napkin and rubbing alcohol and cleaned off the excess dust on my nails. And then I went in with some pink gel polish. After using gel polish, I cured it in the light for 30 seconds, and then I went in with a second layer. I was thinking about going with this light pink charms, but then I decided to go with these little medium sized pink charms. But before putting on any charms, I went in with some top coat. Here is a up close of the pink charms. Now for the styling of the rhinestones, I did not know what I was going to do. I wanted to give it like a little pink Barbie set. So I just went off the top of my head.
After putting all the nail charms on, I went in with some top coat to encapsulate all the charms. After top coating, I did clean around my cuticles to make sure there are no gel polish on my cuticle. And then I finished it off with some cuticle oil. And these are the finishing look of the nails. I hope you guys loved this video because I most definitely did. I most definitely enjoyed doing this set. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And share if you like. And the finishing look is also on my TikTok. I will most definitely put that link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.